hitting the sponsors for Manchester United is massive because they are giving Manchester United a lot of money and the Glazers really don't want the sponsorship deals to be hit hard and the relationship with the club to be hit with any of these new sponsors. Certainly the new shirt sponsor deal which has been attacked on social media today. The ratings have been absolutely bombarded with negativity from angry Manchester United fans and Aon also has been attacked which is the sponsor of the training facility. So that is great to see Manchester United fans voicing their opinion there. Long might continue. We'll do more videos if and when these protests are actually going to be confirmed to be happening. But for now, we move on to the Roma game. Now, 6-2 win in the first leg of the tie, which has almost put Manchester United in a strong position in order to qualify for the final. Now, got to just go out there and get this job done in the second leg. I would expect Solskjaer to pick a similar lineup to what he picked in the previous one. He did make some. He did drop uh, Edison Cavani for the game against Liverpool, which never actually happened when we actually saw the teams line up. Now, Mason Greenwood looked like he was going to play in the centre forward position. Now, I would expect Cavani to start this game though in the number nine position. Now, I personally think it will be a almost a, a strong lineup which he normally goes for. Uh, Henderson obviously in goal. The back four pretty much picks itself. Maguire and obviously Shaw, so, sorry, Wan-Bissaka, Shaw, Maguire, Lindelof and Fred and McTominay in midfield. Then it's going to be Bruno in the, in the attacking position with ov obviously the uh, two wide players. I would go for Mason Greenwood and I'll go for Paul Pogba in the other wider position with Edison Cavani up front. I think Rashford hasn't done enough to be starting games for Manchester United lately. I think Greenwood has been a lot better for Manchester United, certainly in recent games. So pretty pretty would go, much go with that lineup for Manchester United. Just give Rashford a break at this moment in time. Manchester United are probably not. It's very unlikely that Manchester United are going to lose this fucking game about 4-0. It really is fucking crazy to think Manchester United are going to get battered and get knocked out in this. They, they're an attacking side, but they do let a lot of goals and they like to outscore the opposition, Roma. And when they were 2-1 up in that first leg, in the in in the going into half time, I was fucking concerned. I really was. I didn't expect Manchester United to play as well as we did in that second half, and we really did put them to the fucking sword in that second half. I thought even if Manchester United got a three-two lead in that second half, I thought that wasn't wasn't a very good result to take to Rome. But getting five goals in that second half really did put them put them to bed, I believe. And I do believe they're vulnerable at the back. I mean, Mike Smalling at the back there, we know he's not good enough. That is why Manchester United ended up getting rid of him in the end. He had some good moments for Manchester United, but ultimately not good enough anymore to be playing for Manchester United. And we saw that in that first leg. And I think Manchester United can get at him. I think he's got a mistake in him, definitely. But we've still got to, got to be concerned about the threat up front. They've got Mkhitaryan, who is, has still got a point to prove against Manchester United. And obviously, Edin Dzeko up front, who used to play for City. He's always been a fucking handful, that cunt has. Whenever he's played against Manchester United, he's always scored. He's an old-school centre-forward and just likes putting the ball in the fucking back of the net. And he could be a threat. But I think if Manchester United do play with the pace, certainly on the counter-attack, if these do come and attack Manchester United, I think Manchester United can really get at them and swat these aside, to be honest. I really do. I think that we could go there and score a few goals. I think this is going to probably be a high-scoring game, a bit like the first game for Manchester United. And if we're, if we're comfortably winning at half-time, or even if we're sort of 1-0 up in this game, we're not going to go out there and lose this game. So I would like to see a couple of younger players on the subject spectrum, maybe give Ahmad a chance. He probably does deserve one. To be given a given a role in in this in this sort of game, maybe bring him on at half time, second half, something like that. I'm not too sure that he's going to start this game. And the other one that probably does is starting to more deserve a chance now is Shoratiri. He's got eight goals in his last eight games for the under 23s and two assists in that. Since turning 17, he's really changed in the under 17s to become one of, if not the star man in the under in the under 23 team. Now, I wasn't convinced when he was playing for the under-18s at the time because he was only 15 playing for the under 18. so I wasn't really sure last season whether he was going to be the elite level player. But now, looking at him this season, he's been very, very good, scoring some very good goals and does look like a very good prospect for Manchester United. Hopefully, we can see him fucking get some minutes between now and the end of the season. I doubt he will play in this because he just played on Monday night against 
Derby in the under 23 is the full game. But hopefully, if Manchester United can get through this unscathed and get victory in the next Premier League game at the weekend, hopefully we can see him before the end of the season along with Ahmad. And who knows if they could scrape a place on the bench for the final should Manchester United secure that spot in this game. I do think Manchester United will get through. I think the pace on the counter-attack will be enough to see Manchester United get through this. I think they are vulnerable at the back. We're still a bit vulnerable at the back, but I think our attacking prowess can get us over the line. And I think it's going to be going to be goals in this. I'm going for Manchester United winning this game. Three goals to one. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that like button and hit the share button if you're watching this on, on Facebook. And I'll talk to you all again soon. See you.